Uh, well, actually, I don't think you guys introduced yourselves, did you? Oh, I don't know. My name is Corey Pike. I'm uh, the singer of Love Motor. And my name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a guitarist in Love Motor. We're also missing... Uh, Three members. <laughs> Mr. Bassman, Andrew Carey. We're missing our rhythm and uh, backing vocal, uh, Frank Warren. And our uh, newly acquired drummer, uh, Brad Hoban. Yep. Hoban, Hoban. <laughs> Still getting messed up. Also, You'll learn uh, eventually. Actually, I will say, too... Uh, you're gonna get you get a lot more vocals on our new songs too. Yeah, All the boys so. have kind of stepped up in that area. Mm. Before That's it would good. be just Frank on the backing. Now Andrew yeah. and Mike are popping up on the yeah. box. A lot of say. fun. Adds a lot to the shows. Psyched to record. Yeah. Pop down on the thirtieth. A little, little nice, famous old blues bar right next to the stage on George Street. A lot of performances yes. are always better than recorded. Yeah. <laughs> That's yes. my opinion. And we do uh, provide, I think, a pretty good show when we when you go mm. out. You, we still play some of our uh, old stuff too, uh, from like batteries not included. We don't play it all. I mean, we can't. We've we've dabbled in and out of of songs, but uh, like Destiny's Woman, that's a bit of a rough recording. I actually recorded that at we're out in the, at my, no it? out in shed. Really? Uh, that all was recorded through one microphone. And we put that on the EP just because we believed in the song so much. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily the quality I know it's of one song. of my favorites. Yeah. yeah man, oh, well, favorite. we've got that a lot on the CD, actually. But I, like I said, that's all recorded through one microphone. With some Maybe layering. sometimes that's the best. I and mean, done by me. me and, uh, you capture a lot of our, performance. And I only learned how to send an email two years ago. So, yeah. I, you know, I'm not, as, not really great at using all the software stuff. But Okay. No, as, oh, we, yeah. as we talked about earlier, maybe the new the new album I think is going to be a, a mix of both live kind of feelings yeah. and uh, a little produced stuff. Sometimes uh, the live stuff is, really captures your attention and uh, yeah. it's really raw and it's natural, I guess. And you know, have you guys ever considered doing a live album? Yes, we yeah, have we, we have talked about it actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's where we perform best sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but it's nice to have some produced stuff as well, I guess. Yeah, you it know, is. Yes. Where you pay attention to details and. But uh, raw sometimes uh, is my, yeah, definitely my uh, thing. Yeah, well, we listen to Destiny's Woman. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of a like I said, a little bit rough recording, uh, our home recording. But yeah, just remember it's a little rough. And but whatever, we're, I'm kind of proud of it. It was like my first uh, good one, or whatever. No, <laughs> get right. No, no, we'll play the. Yeah, no. we'll play it off the CD first. Yeah, no, no, and then. Maybe we'll, well, no, we should give a teaser of, of something that's going to be on the new album. Okay. It's more everybody in it, but we'll do a little, we will do an acoustic later in the set here. Yes. All right. Destiny's Woman. On 93.4, uh, see you tomorrow, Fame. I turned the corner street the other day. My eye caught you. Oh, damn, she's really fine She must be mine It's a pass on food I should have stuck that conversation
I'm David Suzuki, one of 30 million Canadians. We're the world's second biggest consumers of energy, and we're making the planet hotter. We use more energy than the entire continent of Africa, 680 million people. Cutting your heat and energy use by just 10% will make a positive difference, combating global warming as well as ensuring a better tomorrow for our children. The future is in your hands. Cool the planet. Find out how at davidsuzuki.org. Space Thunder Kids. The evil forces of the Dark Emperor threaten the entire universe. All right, let's get them. But with the might of Nami O'Hara and her Japanese music and culture show at their side, they can't possibly lose. Fridays at 5 p.m. Newfoundland time, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Listen online at chmur.ca. Rizok out with your Kizok out. Every Friday at 1. With Ring Rust, Atlantic Canada's only source of wrestling news radio. When I was a kid, if someone brandished a shrink gun, he'd get a little bit of respect. Getting down to the nitty gritty on CHMR 93.5 FM, you're listening to the Friday Morning Markout.
Rev Motor from their album Batteries Not Included. So far their only album, but they are working on a new one. That was Sexified. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get the entire interview done in the first hour, but I guess you could say also fortunately, uh, because I'll be carrying the interview over into the second hour of my show. So back to my interview with Corey Pike and uh, Mike Sullivan. And we are back live in CHMR Studios with members of Love Motor. You enjoy your little break there, guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Speaking yeah. of the break, uh, we were talking about the album earlier. We actually do have a couple songs that are already recorded that we are going to be putting on the album. And one of them was uh, something... Yeah, that kind of got made popular by accident, as we say. Yeah. yeah. A little yeah. bit of a joke yeah, song. Yeah, for sure. We had a guy in... Uh, up in Edmonton from St. John's. Uh, yeah, well, what we did is uh, we recorded a song at Corey's place. Uh, the idea just came when we were jamming one day, and uh, I think it started up with the intention of becoming a love song. Yeah. But that soon changed, and we decided, you know, as much as we like our ballads and stuff, too, and the tearjerkers, if we could, you know. I get enough of that. Yeah. So uh, let's change the, uh, change the whole atmosphere. So we decided uh, to, write something, to write about something that we all, uh, we all know about. <laughs> We all dearly love. Yes. So it still is a love song, technically. Technically. Yeah, not it another is. love song, you know. It's not, not a conventional a tribute to a woman. It's a tribute to uh, something. <laughs> to some uh, That makes leafy us feel herbs. good, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's the sativa strain, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> uh, going from there. Uh, what were we talking about again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, man. guy from St. John's by the name of uh, Shiesty Callahan. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. he picked up on it, uh, I guess, by pure accident. And, uh, but, uh, you know, he, uh, he wrote us and said, you know, would you mind if I did a collab with you guys? And, uh, he's, you know, he's a pretty successful rapper from what we know. And we were like, yeah, man, geez, you know, take it from here, bud. And uh, so we did. Yeah. He actually, uh, like we were talking about earlier, uh, I don't know, when he took it or whatever, it was on the 420 compilation CD. Mm -hmm. In the states, called Sticky Icky, and like uh, Lil Wayne. And yeah, yeah, that's what. Yeah, was was like a pit talking about or earlier it was probably Kid Cudi or something. Yeah, I don't know. It was a few bigger. Than, I never knew artists album, that we don't even know about because we're not in. You know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was quite a, quite an honor, I think, and uh, it was pretty cool. 